Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed January 22, 2016. It's at 12.56 a.m. in Birmingham. And the topic is snow. We were warned. And I had a blog on January 16, just a few days ago, titled, Holy Cow, The Cost to America Dividing Israel. I also went in and talked about what would happen to America if we gave that money to Iran. I, I said that in another blog, that we would be hit by another judgment, far more severe. And guess what? We've had three more since then in the stock market, and they were bad. But look, the title of this storm, the name is Jonas. First thing hit me is Jonas or Jonah in the Bible. What do you think of when you think of that? He was swaddled up. I can see Washington, D.C. getting hit the hardest by this storm. I mean swallowed up. They're going to exceed two feet of snow. In any case, I believe D.C. will be shut down for a time, longer than anyone would suspect or expect, except they have the operations underground, as they do in other places, the Pentagon. But the point is, this storm could have changed at any time just like the perfect storm. The perfect storm was brewing, and it was not deciding where it was going to go until George Bush Sr. sat at the table to meet and divide Israel. Then here comes a 30-foot wave and takes out his house. And after that, they were torn to pieces. The name of that storm, the perfect storm. It has no other name to it. And now, what do we have? We have Jonah. In my mind, that's bad. Carrie, yesterday, I say yesterday, it was on either the 20th or the 21st, and um, I'm thinking the 20th, went and stood and had a, comp not a conference, just a where he blabbed on the TV screen and talked about releasing amount of money to Iran. Number one, release of that money is directly going to affect and hurt Israel. Right off the bat, the money, the, the not even a check, I'm talking about the money's there, Israel's hurt. God warned us. He warned us. This storm could have turned into water or it could have dissipated. But now, the fact that it was named and confirmed and it's going to hit happened on the heels of John Kerry making that statement before a world audience. That is a judgment. There's no turning back. And it's going to hit sometime late today and into tomorrow. I believe D.C. will be hit harder than it's ever been hit. And, and I know why. I know why. And I don't believe I will be the first one that will tell you this. I believe there are others. If the, I haven't heard anyone yet, but I know I will. But I'm a little bit ahead of this because I've been on this little thing for a little while, doing a lot of studying, reading, looking up dates, and looking up damages, and looking up events that correlate with the dates. And the simple fact John Kerry made the statement that we have released this money in part to Iran. And he talked about a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then he said the magic word. He said, and of course, we know or feel that 
They haven't done this yet, but we know they will. They will, with that money, support terrorists. John Kerry said that. That is when Jonas was set in stone. All I can say is cover your head. But I do want to say a couple other things. There is a hurricane headed toward South Carolina. This is back in, I'm guessing, uh, the early to mid-70s in a church, in other churches. A lot of people went up and stood on the beach, and they threw their hands up in there, and they prayed that God would turn the storm. Well, he did turn the storm. It was expected to hit right where they were. That storm turned, and it hit 200 miles away. Then again, in the early 80s, of all times, it was in the springtime. I say in the springtime. It was early summer, and I'm taking my family on a trip, and I'm remembering a lot of things that I had been hearing and heard about, and it's, it was out there because it's what I'm interested in. Judgments averted or deflected or stopped or moved away. There was a farmer, a citrus farmer, that had, I don't know how many acres, it was a lot, but he had a, a defined fence line that separated him from his neighbor. This man knew that it was going to freeze that night. He went out and he walked the perimeter of his property and he prayed all the way, and he touched every post. Guess what? It did freeze, but not on his property. It, nobody could understand it. Nobody could explain it. But everything in east, west, north, and south of him died from that cold, that frost, that severe cold. But he never lost a bloom. The bloom indicates that this will be an orange. Everyone around him had no blooms. They all died. He's the only one that year that had a crop. And that's just a couple of the thousands that you go back, I say thousands, hundreds, that you can go back and look at and read and dig them up. It happens. But when you do something as bad as what we have done and also dictating that Kerry knows, we know that Iran will use that money to, pro to promote terrorists, how stupid can we get I just talked about 30 days ago. We had record heat, record cold, record drought, and record rains, and 1,000 records are broken in a month. And I said, and if we don't watch it, it'll be here next. Guys, I did that on the 16th, and here we are. Jody Wolf Exposed.